A slowdown, but by no means a complete stop. COVID-19 has for the past six weeks disrupted the construction of a multi-million dollar development, the largest infrastructural project to date. But according to Global Ports Holding Regional Director of the Caribbean and Americas, Michael Mora, despite the setback, they managed to press ahead. We didn't sit on our hands during that period. We finalized designs, we finalized engineering, uh, we, we, you know, finalized contracts, uh, you know, so we are, have definitely kept the pace moving. Um, it's just that now we're at a place where uh, our work is going to be more visible uh, to those persons that are standing back and looking in. That said, COVID may have tampered with the project's timeline a bit, but what it didn't impact was its financing. From a, a strategic perspective, uh, what we're doing at the, the Nassau Cruise Port with these uh, pure expansions is we're preparing for these larger ships that are going to be sailing, uh, that are going to be coming, and uh, there's going to be uh, there, you know, very few ports in the region that can accommodate these very large ships. Um, you know, and so and the other thing is that when people take a cruise, uh, people want to have an experience. They want to see a different culture. They want to meet new people. Uh, they want to be able to take pictures in a city that uh, doesn't resemble, uh, you know, what they would have seen in Miami or Chicago or, or some other place. Um, and so, in, in the other part of this, obviously, is that the Bahamas sits 60 miles off the coast of Florida. And strategically, uh, you know, we offer the cruise industry that uh, three-day, four, four-day cruise um, that, that uh, you know, many Americans, many North Americans specifically, uh, find appealing. And here's what else works in the country's favor. And, you know, what we found through COVID-19 is that even passengers that had booked a cruise uh, to sail during this period of 100-day uh, no-sail, 50% uh, have said that they didn't want their money back. They just wanted credit towards a future uh, cruise. Uh, so it's, it's a very resilient, it's definitely taking a hit like other industries, uh, uh, but it's a very resilient industry and uh, we are very well positioned.